Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another bag review and today's bag is actually my new Tory Burch mini barrel bag. Guys, I'm so obsessed with this bag. Like I actually wanted this bag since it came out because obviously it's a literal dupe of the LV, uh, like their mini uh, speedy bag. It's the exact same thing except for without you know spending the thousands of dollars that that one cost compared to this one now the colors that they originally have had for a while i was not interested in which was a blue like a dark blue and then like a navy color and then a uh cream colored like a brownish color i didn't want something brown just because i feel like i already have a couple of brown bags but when i saw this one i was like oh, yes 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 so cute okay so this is what she looks like she is like a cream color so it does have the logo everywhere and that is more of a white color and the background of where the logo is um threaded on there is what is that cream color let me zoom it in okay there you go so that is what it looks like now the whole bag is all cloth obviously as you can tell Except for the bottom here where it does have the feet on the bottom thankfully thank goodness because it is a white bag And then it does have leather going around All the way around on each side as well as in the top where the zipper is and it does have the logo here on top and the sides also have these little uh, hooks here because you can make it into a crossbody, which is what I really love. Because I that's how I most likely plan to wear this crossbody. I just think it's so cute. And then it does have the only thing that's completely different from the bag. It's this brown leather here that is on the candles. But besides that, everything else is white. And the little um, leather zipper tab, which is that. It doesn't, it doesn't have anything. It's just... The little thin strap here that's it but these handles are um brown as you can tell but i feel like it looks really nice it's like a good contradiction to the bag it just makes it just gives it like a little bit of an elevated oomph to it it does have these little like buckles here which no you guys can't adjust it's just for presentation so don't think that you can make the handle bigger or smaller because you cannot so just an fyi so that is how it, it will stay so you won't be able to grab it like this. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go over the shoulder. If you think it's gonna go, if you think it'll make it bigger, it won't. And these handles don't like flop over whatsoever. They stay in this manner. Just an also an FYI. Now let me show you guys the inside. So the inside is obviously one huge compartment, as you guys can see. I'm trying to get good clear lighting for you guys it does have one compartment here i'm trying to look at the camera to make sure i have good lighting it does have one card compartment right there and that is the only piece of leather that is in there and it does have the tory birch logo as well so besides that it's just one big empty hole so that is what I loved about this bag because even though it's tiny, it is super wide. So, you know, it's going to fit so many things. Now, before I show you guys everything that fits in here, let me show you the strap that does come with this. Because like I mentioned, it has these hooks on here. So obviously that's meant for a crossbody and it does come with an extra crossbody strap. And it is just a really thin brown strap same color as the handles now let me just show you guys real quick it does have like little lobster claws at the end like so and then it's you know one piece of leather up until you know you want to adjust the sizing which the sizing you adjust it kind of like a buckle so you would just you know open it and then change the sizing of it because it technically it's two pieces so i could like literally take this off but just to let you guys know you can adjust it and it has one two three four five six seven uh holes in it so i'm pretty sure it should fit everyone from short to tall which you guys know i will show you 
after I'm done stuffing this thing with all these things that I have here in front of me. Um, so let me just put the strap right here on the floor just to have easier access to everything um, that is in front of me. Now I'm actually gonna grab, I completely forgot to grab, um, my husband's phone case because he does have a Pearl mat so that way I can show you guys that that fits in here real quick. Let me go grab it. So I found his phone case. So let's start with the bigger items. You guys know I always start off with the things that don't fit in here first and then, you know, work from there. So obviously this is not gonna be able to fit a regular pochette just because the pochette is way longer. Well, not way longer, but like maybe like half an inch longer as you guys can see. So this would not fit in there. Neither would a full size wallet. So let me just show you, it's like a smidge bigger. It's basically the same thing as a pochette. So as you can tell, it's like slightly, like a hint, maybe like half an inch as well, that it is longer than the bag itself but it does fit let me grab it the mini pochette and it fits it in there effortlessly so, let me see so i was trying to get good lighting for you guys sorry so as you can see it's right here but you see all this space still available now i'm gonna grab my phone and then i'll switch it off for the other one just to show you guys after and then a card holder, my key pouch, my uh, lip gloss, my hand sanitizer. And let me just show you how there's still space in there. So you can tell this whole side over here still has space for more. And I'm gonna grab my, just like a camera, portable camera. These, I feel like, are kind of like the average size that a lot of people carry when they want to carry like a smaller um, camera. I know a lot of people carry like the Sony EV or I forgot what it's called, but you guys know which one I'm referring to. And I believe they're about the same um, size, so that's why I grabbed my Canon. So I'm going to shove it in there. And as you can tell, that fits in there. And if I wanted to, I could probably fit something on top of... of um, on top of a bag here like if I wanted to put something up here maybe a pair of sunglasses now the phone I can't lay it on top obviously because even though this is wide it does kind of like go in out at the top so now I'm gonna close it for you guys just to show you how even though I stuff that thing like crazy you can't notice it whatsoever and I feel like it's part of the reason is because this is like a cloth material and it is not leather so it's not stiff or um you know too constricted so it's more flexible and even with all that stuff in there i'll show you guys like it still has room for more like you can tell that i could probably stuff more things in there but this is what it looks like full like you can't see anything sticking out it doesn't look like i stuffed it with all those items that i did now i'm gonna take out my phone and show you guys that the pro does fit in there so remember mine is the just Mine's a Pro, this is a Pro Max, sorry guys. There's like so many damn names to these, like can you just say small, medium, large? It's be easier for me to just figure it out like that. So I'm gonna shove it in here and show you guys that it fits. I just have to make sure it doesn't, since it's empty, it still has no phone in there. Um, so the burgundy, as you can tell, is the pro max and it actually still has room on the side it has about like an inch room worth of room in there if i really wanted to stuff more things in there i can now i'm gonna scoot back my camera so i can show you guys what it looks like you know with the strap and then up against my body but just for size reference you guys know i always give you my size so i am a size 8 slash 29 around like 157 and I am 5'5 five five, just to give you guys a good depiction of you know my body and how it's going to look on me so just help you guys out now let me just move all this crap out of the way and we can start trying it on <laughs> okay guys so I do have it on the second hole I never really usually change the 
the strap it usually suits my height so i'm leaving it like that just to show you guys what it looks like on my body so again remember i am 5'5 and anyone that's shorter than me there's still one more hole but after that there's nothing higher i mean you can always make your you know add your own holes with a like hole puncher and or for like belts and all that stuff so you know that's just my advice for anybody that's shorter but anybody 5'5 five, five and up you guys are gonna have no issue because there's still five more holes going down so it can get really low obviously but this is where it sits on me and my hip bone is right here so I feel like it fits perfect for my length and how I like it and if you guys don't like bulky bags I feel like maybe you won't like this I know some people do prefer like that flat look I am okay with it just because again it is more like flexible so it kind of contours to your body so I don't feel like super stiff and it's not an issue for me I have carried bigger obviously like my Marc J Jacobs mini tote that one even though it's considered a mini it's like this big so it's wider and bigger and I have no issue carrying that one so I know I'm not gonna have an issue carrying this one now let me show you what it looks like on the forearm obviously you can't put it over the shoulder because of the handles they're pretty short let me just take off the strap just so it's not as distracting to the look okay there we go. it was stuck on my shirt okay so obviously you know we can't put it on our shoulder but you can carry it around like your elbow area or obviously your forearm is where it's going to fit the best if you want it to look a little bit more dressy obviously with the strap it makes it look more casual but without it you know you can definitely wear it and make it look a little bit more dressier for depending for uh depend for the different okay i can't even talk right now okay so you can take off the strap and carry it on its own for any more of a dressier occasion i don't know if that makes sense but i think you guys know what i'm trying to say so if you want it to look a little bit more elevated and not as casual then just definitely don't wear it cross it and just you know kind of wear it with only the handles itself but i mean as you guys can tell it's such a like cute little bag that it'll just elevate any outfit even if it is casual like i'm wearing a super casual outfit just like a jean skirt with a button up and just carrying uh, carrying it like this just you know elevates my look a little bit now let me move everything back and scoot you guys in so i can finish off this video all right guys so i showed you guys everything that fits in this, this cutie and if you guys have any other questions or concerns, maybe about a certain item that might fit in here, definitely just, you know, leave me down a comment below. You guys know I always check those for you guys. But I think that's it for now. Honestly, I feel like this is going to be my go-to bag <laughs> once it starts to warm up outside. I'm just so obsessed with it and I feel like the color just makes it easier to wear with so many items. I feel like that's the biggest reason why I picked this color is because I wanted something that kind of went with everything and obviously white always goes with everything. It is more sustainable to getting those stains from your jeans but mm, I feel like I don't really I'm not really gonna have to worry about that just because I do wear a lot of jean shorts but I don't know I just feel like it's not gonna be an issue but we'll see obviously you know famous last words six months from now you're gonna see me showing you guys like blue all over this and even if it does it's okay I don't care you're not gonna be able to see it I want to wear it and I wanted it so I purchased it but if I do end up getting any kind of stains I will definitely do an updated video for everyone just to you know keep you guys informed but I think that's it for now thanks for tuning in I'll see you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe bye guys